off. Hey everybody, this is a video that I put together to document the creation of our first promotional comic. Yeah, we've been talking about doing one of these for a while, but we didn't really know how to approach it. So uh, we ended up just going with a very straightforward sort of self-serving approach. Uh, uh, we just decided to come up with some different reasons why we love playing the game and why we think you guys should jump in and try it out. Um, we just started getting help from the, a guy named Jeff Gibson who's been helping us with um, PR and marketing and um, after he played the game for a while his explanation was that it was or his description was that the game was splody and uh, <laughs> uh, we thought that was pretty accurate so uh, we decided to make a comic about it um, it really does have if you haven't played Metal Drift already it has more explosions per minute than I think any other game out there uh, especially in a six on six match it can get pretty crazy uh, so I guess I'll talk a bit about the comic creation process um, since we're watching it happen here um, I think the first thing I wanted to, to mention was that the, the way that I set up my Photoshop files is I guess kind of unique. I don't work with a whole lot of other artists, so um, I, I don't, and even when I did, I didn't really look over their shoulder very much. But the people that I've told this, I, I've explained this setup to, have um, all been kind of surprised um, that I work this way, and I guess a lot of them didn't know that you could work this way. Basically, it's just um, I, I set up two windows and um, one of them is zoomed in so that I can see what I'm doing and the other one is zoomed out so I can see what the final product is. Um, it seems pretty straightforward to me but um, the people I've talked to about it are uh, excited to try it because they never they didn't know that you could do that in Photoshop. Anyway, um, the other thing that occurs to me right off the bat watching this is um, how inefficiently I am approaching the whole process. I, uh, I'm i a texture artist first and foremost, so I kind of dive in and just start painting. And um, I've been using digital media for so long that I don't even think in terms of like penciling and inking and um, the more traditional straightforward approaches to, to drawing or they're definitely um, comic art. Um, so what I end up doing is just pushing the the final black lines around until I find something that I like and I'm sure that it would be a lot faster if I just laid down a a lighter uh, under, under layer and then inked on top of it. But uh, maybe next time. This time I think I real. I, this is like really the first time that I've really attempted this kind of thing. So it uh, it kind of just evolved pretty organically. Um, I should also say that I am a huge fan of Penny Arcade. So you'll see that the style here is pretty similar to Mike Krahulix, the the artist over there, at Penny Arcade. Um, these guys were really fun to draw. I I knew I wanted sort of a peanut gallery to comment on the screen along with the guy playing here, and um, I was gonna make them kids, but then you know, I think birds are super weird and funny, and so I thought I'd just throw in some ridiculous fat birds. Um, this guy's expression was kind of the first thing that came to mind when I thought of the idea of hella splody. I wanted his face to sort of indicate 
surprise and um, you know excitement but also a little panic but also at the same time not really be that panicked at all um, here I go again with just diving in without any sort of base layer or pre-thought um, this is strangely enough the first time that I've ever done a self-portrait and uh, this guy doesn't really look like me but um, it's the first time I've even attempted it so kind of funny that it has to take comic form uh, this just happened to be what I was wearing today it is what I wear most days but uh, I think it'll probably be if we do more comics with these guys is probably what they'll wear every time uh, yeah so my name is Weston I sh <laughs> should have said that up front I'm the artist uh, that uh, worked on Middle Drift and um, I'm the lead artist at Black Jacket Studios and this is my partner that's getting put together right now, Brian, and uh, he's uh, he's the uh, engineer, does all the, the magic ones and zeros under the hood. And we both are like co-designers, so we both share design roles, and uh, then I handle the art and he handles the programming. And Uh, I played around <laughs> with giving myself facial hair for a second, but then decided against it. And here you can see me struggle with my hand drawing, which is abysmal. And I just gave up at the end. I don't really like the way that hand came out, but it was the best one. And for some reason I decided to start coloring before I even finished most of the ink but I, again that's kind of the way I work I, I get inspired to do something and I'll just dive in and do it whether it's time for it or not and you see in a lot of these places I'm just uh, I'm throwing down just a fat line and then carving it to give it some dynamic size and uh, flow. Um, I've watched Mike Kerhulik work and he'll he's got his tablet set up so that his lines will have really interesting dynamic widths and they'll look good right when he draws them but I have to uh, I have to carve mine out on either side to make them interesting. Here I am making my first uh, word bubbles and rewriting the <laughs> comic mid production which is I'm sure something that all professionals do I keep having to move everything around to incorporate the new ideas that I'm coming up with um, yeah ideally I would have done all this ahead of time but it's really not that bad with Photoshop you can just grab and move things around pretty easily Coloring in um, actually could go a lot faster than it is here. I'm uh, I'm coloring it on all by hand just because I really enjoy it, and it gives me time to sort of think about what I want to do next, and gives me sort of a tactile feeling for the f for the image. I don't really know how to explain it, but I think it comes from uh, years of shading and it's something that I've always missed with computers is that, that feeling of shading um, here I am moving everything around again it's a little bit painful to watch and diving in again without any pencils just going crazy it's efficiency man total efficiency
Yeah, so the first expression that I wanted to have here was um, like sort of mad scientist, crazy, enthusiastic. Um, but I didn't think it, I thought it was a little bit overboard. It's kind of fun to watch me f push the expression around and try and fix it in every way I can. There we go, moving things around again. Yeah, I don't think I was comfortable looking quite that crazy. The font I'm using is called Blambot Casual, in case you guys are wondering. I went through a ton of fonts earlier, and that's the one I landed on. I think it's the one they use at Penny Arcade, but I'm not sure. So here I am uh, going to a, a more subtle, kind of devious smile. I actually kind of look asleep, but I didn't want to fuss with it anymore. This part was weird. I went through a million different brushes trying to find the star pattern to make the number one pop out. Um, and I finally found exactly what I was looking for in the base uh, brushes that, that Photoshop has. Uh, we debated over whether how long it would take to make it splody, and uh, I thought it would it was funnier and a lot more accurate <laughs> to uh, to make it a year. It actually took us forever to finish Metal Drift from start to finish. It was like three years. Um, not all of that was full time. We were doing it as a hobby for a long time. But, uh, it was a good year and a half at the end, full time for both of us, plus a handful of contractors and yeah, deceptive amount of work went into that game. Yeah, so here I wanted to have my fists up like I was really excited, but it looks like I'm trying to fight you, so I decided to go with a single finger raised. Here I am struggling with hands again. And uh, I think we're about at the end now. Here it is, final product. Hope you guys like it. Oh, and I hope that you'll check out Metal Drift. Uh, it's kind of the whole point of this <laughs> experiment. Um, go to uh, www.metaldrift.com and uh, check it out. Thanks a lot.